Good morning. Welcome back to Inside Track. I'm Deirdre Bolton. I'm here in Vegas, right in front of the city center. This is the property, eight and a half billion dollars, co-owned by Dubai World and MGM Mirage. I spoke yesterday with the CEO of MGM Mirage. That's Jim Marin. We talked about how this property is such a huge bet on the recovery for his company, the recovery for Vegas, also recovery for the state of Nevada. We also talked about the look of city center. You can see behind me, it's pretty cool and and sleek and modern. It almost looks like Midtown Manhattan, certainly a different look from, from Vegas, what we traditionally think of as the Vegas look. So one of the questions I asked Marin is, is city center really different enough to drive people to come here just to see it? Here's what he had to say. It's clearly different enough. You know, consumers will let us know what they think. But uh, the what's great about Las Vegas is we have something for everybody. The diversity of, of the product, the price points, is what makes Las Vegas so great. And the only problem you'd have coming here is deciding where to stay, what to do. There's so many good choices. So I'm very confident that Las Vegas is going to do better next year. I'm very confident that Aria, this beautiful casino hotel we're in, and city center in general, will help drive visitation. The tide will be rising, and we will benefit. Our company will benefit from that because the Las Vegas Valley will benefit. I know you say you expect more visitors next year, but you've had two years at least of declines. Las Vegas has in general. That's right. What makes you think 2010 is going to be different? I mean, you've talked about stabilization as far as the conference business, convention business, but which mm -hmm. industries are actually spending? Because it's bad PR a little bit now. Well, you know, first off, people are getting off the couches now. Um, and they're getting on the road. So vehicular traffic, cars are coming into Las Vegas more. So our visitor counts are moving up. The economy is healing, slowly, granted, but it is healing. And as the economy heals, businesses are starting to get back to work. We're seeing more and more conventions being booked into 2010. What's great about ARIA is we're a green conference facility here. It's the only one of its kind in the United States. So we have a great impetus to drive more business in here. So why do I think next year will be better after two years of declines? Uh, we're not in a declining economy now. We're in a recovering economy. And people will get back on the road. Businesses will start going back to doing business. And uh, Las Vegas in general will benefit. Our job is to make sure we get most of that benefit. Do you think, though, that even if people spend more in 2010 than they have in the past two years, it seems unlikely they're going to go back to spending the way that they were two years ago? Do you no doubt. I totally agree with you. Uh, the excess of 2007, we're not going to see those days for a long time. I view this as a gradual but steady recovery. And I think that 11 will be better than 10. And I, the way I look at my business model, can't we at least be 2005? <laughs> can't we be 2006? Because we're very profitable as an organization if we get to those levels of visitation, those levels of spending patterns. And I agree, I don't think the excess of 07 we're going to see for a while. What do you have to do to room rates? What do you have to do to get that kind of traffic in? Do you have to keep cutting? No, room rates are rising now. So the idea is to continue to uh, reoccupy buildings. We're running at over 90% occupancy right now in our resorts. We're starting to improve the mix, which means more business travelers are coming in, more conventions, they spend more money on rooms. which industries, Jim? Well, just really across the board, uh, pharmaceutical, energy. You know, the energy industry is doing pretty well. Because we know and, Wall Street can't come. No, well, they're, we're working on that, too. All right. We're working on that, too. They're coming, they're coming quietly. Uh, we're seeing international companies, you know, America's on sale. So we're seeing international companies book into the United States in general. We're a great venue for that. Uh, we're seeing consumer products companies getting back to work. So it's a slow healing process in, the, in that business as well. And we're seeing everything but Wall Street really taking charge. That was Jim Marin, the CEO of MGM Mirage, talking about America on sale. So a little bit later on in the program, we're going to talk to him about he's seeing the benefit of the weaker dollar. But in the meantime, Eric, back to you.